Strangely enough, for the first time, this does not look like a typical Trader Joe's haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share with you guys my monthly Trader Joe's haul. So I really went in there with just trying to get a couple of things that I really wanted for the road. We're traveling home to Long Island for spring break next week, and we have a couple of staples that we just can't live without. So I went there to get those couple of things and to get a couple of sweet treats for the hubby so we had some special things at home since I can't take him with me. I feel like we were doing really good. Him and I were pushing the carts through. We each had a cart. We only had a couple of things I felt like in each cart. $170 later. The same thing happened in BJ's. I put that video up yesterday, so there'll be a link to that at the end, but you guys, I don't know how it happened. Like, it's just we mosey around. Him and I don't get to go shopping very often together. We just kind of like, oh, you want this? You want that? Do you like this? And here we are. So let me turn the camera around and show you guys what I got. But remember, this is not a typical haul. Okay, guys, so here's a quick overview of everything I got for my 170 bucks. And this will just kick it off right there about how this is not a typical haul. You see my flowers? Yes, I always have flowers, but where are the eucalyptus? They're not here. I couldn't do it, you guys. Leanne was not here. I could not pick up flowers and run them up to her door. And it was the first time, and she just left two days ago. So it was a little numbing for me, and I could not, I couldn't buy eucalyptus because I didn't have a friend to deliver to her doorstep some extra eucalyptus. So I just got these. They were $3.99 each, and they're very different but the same, if that makes any sense. So I picked them up and hopefully they'll look good together. But this has hyacinth, which I love, and these little like mini Gerber daisies. And I'm not sure what this is, but it almost looks like cabbage. Um, and then there's white little daisies down here. And then this one has a hydrangea in the middle. And then this just has like the regular daisies and some Gerber daisies. Uh, and that's a regular daisy. So just a little, the hydrangea and like this middle piece are a little different. This looks a little weak, but it was in the car for a while. So I'm hoping like a good drink of water will like spruce it up because the, my last flowers from Trader Joe's did not last, which is usually surprising. But for eight bucks, I thought that was nice. I thought it looks good in my little picture. So once I'm done, I'll take it all out. This is a new purchase for us. This is chocolate chip sandwich cookies. So it says it's crispy chocolate chip cookies with creamy chocolate fudge filling. So everyone in my house is Oreo eaters and I prefer chocolate chip. So I decided I would try some sandwich cookies for myself. So I picked those up. Mayton, Mayton, what the heck? Mason was sitting in the cart with me and he crushed these right at the point where he was getting a little bit overwhelmed and feeling claustrophobic with the groceries in the cart and he hopped out. But we got our regular toaster waffles. These are the gluten-free ones. Um, I think I meant to buy multigrain. I kind of think I just bought the wrong one and just realized that. So hopefully we like them. Um, but yeah, that was a complete wrong buy. But see, that's what happens with the hubs walking around, the kids, and yeah, okay. Um, all right, so this is new for me too. This is chicken breakfast sausage. So um, we like to do breakfast for dinner, and we usually do bacon, and we don't do sausage, but I thought this would be different, and just a nice little change off of doing like a pork sausage link. So I got that, and then I got chicken thighs because my husband and I really like the Mississippi chicken um, with the, he likes the boneless thighs which is what I got last time and he really enjoyed them so uh, I got that uh, I don't know what made me want this but I saw rice pudding and it sounded really great made me think of my grandmother we always enjoyed rice pudding with a little bit of cinnamon on the top of it so I got that um, uh, I mentioned that I'm going away and so I was kind of in that mindset of thinking when I could get the husband and so I got this family style meat lasagna. It says you just put it in the oven for an hour. I thought that would be a great meal for him. He probably wouldn't eat this in one sitting but 
Figured if he cooked it one night, then he could eat it in two portions for two nights. So I grabbed that for him. I grabbed the bag of organic green beans for Jacob. He just likes to eat these raw with his lunches. He's really been enjoying Caesar salad lately, and he loves the Caesar salad kit from Trader Joe's. So I picked that up for him. Picked up a bag of the organic gold potatoes. So the Phillips Fan Bam always talk about this cookie butter and then people buy cookie butter and they refer to the Phillips Fan Bam when they buy it and I don't know if they're like, if they've like put cookie butter on the market or the map or something, but I don't know. Am I like lived under a rock, but I never bought it before. So uh, I got the cookie butter and I'm anxious to try it to see how fabulous it really is. So uh, I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, and then I got the regular organic creamy salted peanut butter and this is the ones that you have to like stir really good but that's okay we like that um, and then this just a couple of like chocolate things for my husband to like leave him behind so these are milk chocolate truffles with a soft creamy center and the woman who rang me up said oh my goodness you're gonna love them they're amazing so I think I'm gonna sprinkle these on the bottom so I can snag a couple and then I have three kiddos so I grabbed this I thought this would be a sweet treat for them like on lunch for Easter or something it's chocolate caramel yokies and it's just milk and white chocolate with a yellow caramel filled decoration so I just thought that would be a cute little thing it's only a limited time like Easter thing so I got that um, I got the Cuban style black beans. I got these a couple of times ago. They were way better than regular black beans. So I picked that up for myself and just a regular can of kidney beans for a recipe. I uh, picked up two things of the gourmet jelly beans for my husband and one for my best friend Paul. They both love jelly beans. So that's like a little sweet Easter treat. I got orzo for my Parmesan orzo. That stuff is the bomb.com, guys. If you have not ever tried that, I did a cooking video on that, so I'll put a card up top. But it's like the perfect side dish. It's just totally different than like a regular old side dish. So we really like that. Um, I'm going to make guacamole with this. But I just bought guacamole from BJ's. I really didn't need it, but my daughter was licking this avocado. So I just didn't have the heart to put it back and let somebody else by my daughter's saliva licked avocado, so we bought it. Um, got some sliced baby bella mushrooms. If I don't use these before I go, I'll freeze them. Got some Persian cucumbers. We've been liking the small ones. Easy for Jake to take for lunches. Got these roasted unsalted peanuts for some recipes and for snacking on the car ride. Got a thing of romaine hearts. I never saw these before. They look totally cute and different. So it's Trader Joe's Cornbread Crisps. Sweet and salty cornbread snack. So it just sounded different. And again, I'm looking for like things that I can snack on because I have to drive for 12 hours and there's no one to keep me company or anything. So I like to bring things that like take time to eat. Like on Sunday when I'm at Walmart, I'll grab a pomegranate because like it takes a really long time to like eat those little perels, you know, so I try and find things that take time, sunflower seeds, things like that. Picked up blueberries for my kiddos. They love any kind of berries. Some dark chocolate covered raisins. That's hubby's absolute favorite um, candy. So that'll be another little um, Easter treat that I'll leave for him. All right, this is totally new for me, and Bonnie, if you're watching, this is for you, baby girl. So um, I've been trying to encourage my girlfriend, Bonnie, to start a channel. I think she would be phenomenal at it. Uh, but she went to Trader Joe's a couple of weeks ago after my last haul. She said I, like, made her want to go there. And then instead of, like, doing a video, she, like, Snapchatted me um, cute little clips of her, like, groceries on the table. And she had this burrata, and I'm like, what the heck is burrata? And she, like, almost fell out of her chair that I didn't know what it is but it's a fresh mozzarella like filled with cream um, I don't know she said it's absolutely salty and gooey and amazing and delicious and like there it is there if my camera will focus like with the tomato I don't know it sounds amazing so I'm gonna give it a try I love any kind of fresh mozzarella 
Got some fresh parm cheese. Got our peppers that we love so much. These are just the frozen tri-colored peppers for easy cooking. Uh, we love their tater tots. We got those. Mason picked these out. These are like bagel bites. So we picked them out. I hope he likes them, but they look a little different. But he wanted to try them, so I got those. Somebody got these. Maybe it was Monty. And she said she liked them, the steamed chicken soup dumplings. Um, and I absolutely love any kind of dumplings like this. So I wanted to try them, so I picked that up. Um, Leanne and I kept talking about capers, my girlfriend from Grady's Mom. Um, she just, we were talking about capers, and I was like, oh, I, I saw them on the shelf, and I'm like, I need to buy them. Um, I actually like bagels with cream cheese and a good tomato and red onion and some capers. Um, normally, like a Jewish tradition would be to add salmon or lox to that, but I don't happen to like that. But I'll do the whole bagel without the lox, um, and I also do like a piccata recipe with chicken, then I'll use these capers. So I picked those up. Um, everybody's been talking about this chocolate chip cookie. It's a deep dish, like chocolate chip cast iron skillet kind of chocolate chip cookie thing. So I don't know, Hubs and I are gonna, you know, have that one night while we're watching This Is Us or something. So I got that. Um, there's another, oh yeah, there's one over there. So there's two cereal bar boxes, one apple, and one strawberry. Like I said, my kids have been showing that they love Oreos more than anything else, but I really don't want my kids to have regular Oreos, so I got JoJo's, and I'm hoping that I can trick Min and Maya. I can't get Jake, but I'm hoping I can get them, so I got those, and then I got these. These are so cute. They're called Spud Crunchies, so they were on the table yesterday when I did my BJ's haul, and I'm like, oh, we got these Spud Crunchies, and oops, never mind. <laughs> You'll see that tomorrow, because... Totally left it on the table, but we broke into this in the car. You guys, they're like so cute. They actually look like a McDonald's or Burger King, like a crispy french fry. And they're really, really good. So we picked those up. That was kind of neat. We got the organic jasmine rice. I'm not sure if I said sweet corn, but we got that. Maya got cheese sticks. Here's the other box I showed you guys of the strawberry. I got cards, picked up one for Leanne, a couple of birthdays, a couple of friends things. This one says, there are a few things in life that pizza, beer, and a good friend can't make better. So I thought that was really cute with the little bicycle. And then this one says, at the end of the day, your feet should be dirty, your hair messy, and your eyes sparkling. I thought that was really cute. So I got this card. This one says collect moments, not things. It's a blank one. Uh, I have a person in mind for that. I have a person in mind for this too. It says all good things are wild and free. And it's a blank card as well. So just love to pick up cards and stock them in my stockpile. Um, okay, so this and this was the sample for the day with blueberries. So we bought the blueberries. And then this was their other sample. Like... Really Trader Joe's with the getting me on the sample. So my husband loved the organic creamy tomato soup. So we picked this up. We have no more soup in the house. No more can, progresso, anything. We went through our whole stockpile. So we just picked this up to have some soup in the house. And it came with these croissant dough twisted with sesame seed topping crostinis. They like cut this up and stuck it in the soup. Oh, so good. So loved that. Got that. Got our favorite orange juice. Um, got these as a surprise for the kids. They had these Christmas time and the kids were like bonkers for them and they were seriously the best gummy I've ever had. And then Mason spotted them um, above the like frozen stuff, like above the orange chicken and everything. Do you guys know this is no orange, orange chicken? Like no dunkers? Like you, that's why I said like this is not a typical haul. You can tell like most of our staples are not here. Um, anyway, so we saw these and I let the kids grab those. Uh, I got this for myself for the car ride. These are the Trader Joe's Pumpernickel Pretzel Sticks. I haven't seen these in forever and I love them. They're sweet and delicious. So I got those for myself. Got some garlic. We got the kids organic low-fat yogurt squeezies. This is the four cherry and four strawberry. We freeze them and the kids eat it like ice cream. 
Um, I picked this ranch dressing up because we were at BJ's and Maya was eating a sample, which was cucumbers and ranch dressing, and it was Hidden Valley, and she got it like on her chin and on her neck, and she broke out all the places that the Hidden Valley touched. Not that we use Hidden Valley, we don't use a whole lot of ranch, but she seemed to really like the ranch, so when we were in Trader Joe's, I got the organic kind, hoping that that won't like let her break out. Um, I picked up the like squiggly macaroni kind of elbow squiggles i don't know i like to stock up on macaroni so i got that got the different colored potatoes we had these last time and i roasted them oh so good so got those again got these for the kids for the ride the cinnamon apple snack sticks like really easy for me to just hand them back little bags of that so i picked up that um i got him uh Got them, the Honeycrisp apples. Daryl likes these, so I'm gonna leave some home. That's why I said him, because he really likes these. So I'm gonna leave some home for him, but the kids will munch on them from this week and we'll, you know, take a few on the road with us. Um, I got a bag of mandarins, great price for those, $2.99. Um, got a thing of the Trader Joe's strawberries and got a thing of our corn puffs. So yeah, guys, that was our 170 bucks. Okay, guys, I'm going to run and go get all these groceries up. I've already filmed my BJ's haul. This stuff has been out forever. It's legitimately 8 o'clock at night, and my husband and I left around 11 to go spend the day out and shop and all of that. So it's been really crazy. Um, but thank you guys stopping over and watching when I got a Trader Joe's this time. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do a Trader Joe's haul at least once a month, plus tons of other grocery-related things on this channel and so much more. So I hope you'll stick around. And for for everybody else thanks guys again and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys